great day. I have a very cute little wig by Amore to show you guys, but before I jump into that review, let me tell you about what I am wearing today. I pulled out an oldie but a goodie. Uh, this is my John Renault Top Smart 18 inch human hair topper and the color 6RN. I used to wear this thing all the time and I thought I would pull it out today for the review and I kind of miss her. I really like this piece. So um, again, Human Hair Top Smart by John Renault. All right, back to the wig. I'm going to show you guys. This is from Amore. This is called Reed. Now this, along with three other wigs, are part of their EXO collection, which are a series of hand-tied wigs. And they created these wigs in like everyday looks. So nothing like super high fashion or out of the ordinary, just a hairstyle that you would um, wear every day and just very comfortable. They talk about their light, soft caps with these pieces as well. So the color uh, for Reed today is Melted Coconut, which has a darker brown root. And then we have this ombre look. So it fades into a medium brown and then the tips um, as you can see, if I hold it against my shirt, you can see the color better. The tips are a very, very uh, light blonde, almost platinum. So you go from dark to light, um, with the light, of course, being on the tips here. All right, so this is a lace front and a mono top. And then again, with this Exo, Exo collection, they talk about the softness of the cap and the uh, flexibility and stretchiness of it. So that is the features of this cap. It is, let's see, the nape is about 10 and a half inches from here down, and it's about four ounces, so pretty lightweight, um, pretty typical for a synthetic wig um, in this length, and she's an average cap size, so that's about all I have to say. I'm curious to see what she looks like with this color once I put her on. Uh, be screenshot ready. Here are all the details on Amore's Read. Okay, here she is. This is uh, Reed in the color Melted Coconut. Um, so first impression I would say is she's very top heavy. Like there's a lot of hair and layers up here. And then the bottoms down here are kind of sad. <laughs> like there's not, there's not a lot of hair down here, um, which I just don't like an unbalanced look like that. Like synthetic wigs can tend to look a little like, I call it helmet head anyway where they're very thick and dense right at the cap so that's kind of something that you're working with anyway and when the hair at the bottom does not balance out the top you have this very kind of like mullet rocker look going on and i think the colors on the tips kind of exaggerate the fact that there's not a lot of hair at the bottom so eh, i don't know uh, with this look but some pros to it it does feel really good the fibers are very soft and um, they aren't, they're not overly shiny looking. So that um, helps with the, you know, it doesn't look too wiggy when it's really shiny. So I would say the texture and the feel of the fibers are good. The color, I don't know. I know what they were going for with this ombre look, but I feel like they needed to kind of maybe start the blonde up here and kind of fade it in a little more. It's very like brown blonde, you know, it's a very um, noticeable line between the two colors where a true ombre just kind of fades in and it looks a lot more natural. So the color I feel like is a little off with these exaggerated tips. Now the front here with the layers, um, it's pretty. I like this front piece, how it kind of naturally swoops to the side. Uh, you could pin that back or do a little ear tuck with it. Um, again, that might just add some bulkiness right there. So I'm not too sure um, about that, but it is a very kind of choppy to layered look. As you can see, it's very, ch -ch 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 -ch. that is, that is the length um, or the, the cut that they have put on this one. So just be aware that it's choppy, but kind of thin layers down there. Um, the fit, if it's good, it's an average cap size and it feels like an average cap size. The um, ear tabs fit what they're supposed to. It's not pushing down on my ears and it feels comfortable around the neck. So I will say it is a comfortable fit and the fibers feel good. It's just the, the way they've colored it and the, uh, the, lack of hair at the bottom is kind of a, a no for me. Um, you could do a side ponytail, but it would be 
kind of sad. I mean, there's just not a lot of hair to put into a ponytail. As you can see, the uh, little bit of hair right here doesn't balance out the fullness of the hair at the cap. So, um, as far as styling goes with this wig, you could do, you know, a little pin back. The front layers here are not long enough to meet in the back, so you'd have to pin them back separately. You could pin it back to one side. Um, I don't know. I just, uh, just don't love this wig. It's not my favorite, but um, it is comfortable, so I'll give them that. All right, let me give you a 360 so you can go all the way around. All right, so this is the right. The back. The left side. And then on around. All right, I just feel like, I don't know, if you're looking for like an everyday style, something that's this length um, with some layers in it, I feel like there are a lot of other options out there that might have a more balanced look to it, um, or even a different color I think would look a little more natural. So I feel like there are some great options out there for wigs if you're looking for a cut or a style like this. So um, it's just kind of a note in my book, but always good to try so you know, right? Okay, so if this is something that you do wanna try, if you do wanna give it a go or look at different color options of what they might have, like I said, it is a very comfortable fitting wig. Oh, let me show you the, the lace front here, I almost forgot. So um, the lace front, they do, some of my hair is in it, they do call this a minimal lace front because it's very short. So it is a good lace, like you can't really see. Um, again, you can see some dark knotting right here because of the, um, the color. Again, this is the melted coconut. So it has a very dark brown root, fades into more medium brown, and then um, has this very, very blonde tip to it. So since the roots are dark, you are gonna see that it's dark knots. But the lace is good, um, I will say, and it fits comfortable. It fits very flush on my head, so I'll give it that. All right, if you wanna check it out, um, head on over to wigs by pattiespearls.com. The manufacturer is Amore, the style is Reed, and this color is Melted Coconut. All right, I will see you guys next time.